Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 90 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to inspire yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So we know for exponential functions, the probability distribution for lambda being equal to lambda is equal to 1 over lambda e to negative t over lambda. So we know for a basic policy with the exponential function that's exponential dis exponentially distributed with the mean 2, this is equal to 1 over 2 e to negative t over 2. And likewise for deluxe, it's going to be with a mean of 3, so that's going to be 1 third e to negative t over cubed. But I'm actually going to differentiate this a little bit because these t two t's are different values. So I'm going to call this little b and this is little d. And they also say that these are independent, aka the joint function, the f of b comma d, is just equal to the f of b times f of d. So then this is equal to 1 6 e to the negative b over 2 times e to the negative d over 3. So if they ask us to find the probability the next claim will be a deluxe policy, we're actually looking at the probability that the b is greater than d because if we want the next policy to be deluxe, then the waiting time for basic should be greater and the waiting time for deluxe should be smaller. So this is equal to going from b, it has to be greater than d, so this is bounded by b if we integrate with respect to d, d first. And b is just going from 0 to infinity, the normal for exponential functions of the distribution function of b and d. So this is equal to 0 to infinity, 0 to b of 1 6 e to the negative b over 2 e to the negative d over 3 d d d b if we integrate in respect to d the 1 over 6 e to the negative b over 2 is just a constant so you get negative negative 3 integrating e to the negative d over 3 from 0 to b so you get negative 1 half e to the negative b over 2 plugging in the upper limit here you get e to the negative b over 3 minus plugging the lower limit you just limit you just get one. I'm gonna multiply this sucker out so we don't have to worry about it later. So this is equal to negative one half e to the negative one half plus one third. That's negative five six b the base base is the same we can add the exponents minus minus that's plus one half e to the negative b over 2 db if we intersect if we integrate with respect to b right here you're going to get 6 fifth times 1 half e to the negative 5 6 b minus 1 e to the negative b over 2 integrating from 1 to infinity or 0 to infinity if we plug in the upper limit e over a really big number is just going to be 0 so then this is going to be 0 minus 0 minus, when I plug in 0 here, you're going to get 1. So you get 6 over 10 plus 1, which is equal to 4 over 10, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!